Hey everybody, final thoughts time for Kali Mala 2nd Edition plus the Intrigue expansion. And folks, I have been raving about relatively new to the scene designer Fabio Lapiano for years now, it feels like. Uh, you know, ever since, oh, I think it was back in 2020, is that right? When um, I first played Ragusa which I thought was fantastic. And then in 2021, there was Zapotec. And then there was Merv. Or did Merv happen before Zapotec? I remember. I think it might have been Ragusa and then Merv, then Zapotec. Whatever. That was an amazing triple feature. Back-to-back -back phenomenal designs that Jen and I absolutely adored pieces. And um, the thing is, I knew as I was playing those and discovering them, that I had totally missed his first published game, Kali Mala. The problem was, Kali Mala, which was an award-winning um, prototype design, I guess in some prestigious board game design contest, and was eventually picked up by a European publisher, it was originally published as a three-player only game. And so I just didn't care about it. But then, after I found out how amazing Fabio was with all these others, and he's got lots of other really great designs coming in the hopper, folks. Uh, Sankore, I'm really looking forward to. I hope to get it before the end of the year. Anyway, though, Eventually, I discovered, or actually somebody told me, because I was completely ignoring Kali Malia. It was dead to me. Three-player minimum game. Somebody told me, hey, you like Fabio Alviano? You should try the two-player, the official variant he made for it. At which point, I ran, did not run, to go pick up my copy of Kali Mala. And it's been on my list of things to do now for probably half a year to play the two-player variant of this and see how well it worked out uh, from the original three-player minimum game right there. Three to five players, but and but then right about the time that I was uh you know getting close to being able to play this, I get contacted by Alley Cat Games, who have gotten the rights to Kali Mala, have done a completely new artistic revamp. I mean, the original Kali Mala looked lovely, but now it's got art from Ian O'Toole, one of the hottest designers in the industry, and the uh, two-player rules have now officially become part of the experience. They are are now officially a two to five player game, or is it two to five? And it's got the expansion. So I'm like, yes, I feel kind of dumb having bought this with my own money, but still I had to give it a go. And I'm really glad I did because yeah, no surprise. Fabio has been amazing longer than I even knew. Kali Mala is brilliant. And I can see why so many people have been raving about it for so long. This feels I mean, this, I mean, I can see why this is up there with a Hansa Teutonica in the upper echelon of dry, dusty Euros that have an overwhelming amount of parchment and beige coloring to them, um, but are so full of rich, crunchy, tough decisions. Interesting, uh, Hansa Teutonica was originally also... Uh, it had a, a, it was effectively a three-player minimum game until they revisited it. Um, you know, this feels like the heir apparent to it, but oh man, I love it so much. I love the worker placement with this randomly generated board that so radically changes what this feels like from game to game, depending on what actions are next to each other every time you send out your workers to do doubles. But then you've got the uh, extra confusion of, hey, if an occupied space is there, I can still do it. Nobody ever blocks me, but I get to activate it, and everybody else who's on that space gets to go again, which means I don't want to go there. Not unless, I mean, I'm, you know, coming to my own place and activating myself multiple times. But then you've got other types of workers that do double activations. And in the new official two-player rules, you've got a third type of worker that basically represents a third faction to the game. Oh my gosh, this is phenomenal worker placement. And if I had just played this a couple of weeks ago, I might have been talking about this game in the recent top 12 updated innovative worker placement games. But I had not played it at that point, folks. So I did not know just how amazingly fantastic the worker placement is. And then on top of that, just the base game has what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think. I might be counting wrong. I might have missed a few. I believe... 14 different unique, no, I guess 15 unique war, um, area control battles all going on simultaneously. And every time you set up the game, they are going to get resolved in a randomly generated way. So, you know, the ones that are going to get resolved at the end of the game, you could, oh, I'll worry about that later. I'll make an investment now so I don't have to worry about it later. But I've got to worry about this now because this one is about to score 15 different ways to score area majorities um, with all these different things where you're trying to grab, you know, harvest goods, convert them into, um, you know, uh, uh, other. To, to convert them into infrastructure so you can become better at harvesting or delivering and all this kinds of stuff. It's freaking brilliant, all driven by an absolutely wonderful worker placement scheme that is really innovative. You know, arguably, you know, top-tier innovation. And then, 
So I'm just talking about Kali Ma'ala there. The original um, with, you know, the, uh, the, the, the little independent release, although also with this new one. But now this new version is also going to come with Intrigue that so takes this game to the next level. Turns were already always very big and very satisfying in this game because you always get to do at least two things, sometimes four things. And often you get to do uh, a couple of things when it's not your turn and somebody else and they activate your stuff. So this game is always full of big momentous moments and a really huge sense of velocity. But now that every turn... Instead of doing a minimum of two actions, you're doing three actions because of these new intrigue things that get seeded onto the board as well. And the, you know these intrigue things can you know affect long-term scoring. They can affect you become additional area majority things or different ways to manipulate the existing area majorities. Um, never mind the fact that it also adds unique player powers that did not exist in the game before. Wow, this so rocks into the stratosphere. Now, one thing I will warn, folks. Do not have your first game of Kali Mala be Kali Mala plus Intrigue. Because just regular Kali Mala already has so much stuff going on. Especially if you're playing two-player where you have three unique types of workers instead of two. Two-player Kali Mala was already a big, a complex, simple and elegant game, but with so many moving pieces that you had to keep balanced and sacrifice short-term gains for long-term gains and all of that. But... Intrigue so takes it to the next level. So I'm so excited for folks who have been fans of Kali Mala for so long, and now you're going to get all this extra stuff. You know, it's it's phenomenal. Now, I should say that um, while I have been amazingly impressed by everything Fabio has done, and I look forward to what he's doing in the future, how do I rank this amongst his other ones? If there's one thing that makes this game not for me and Jen, no matter how brilliant the core worker placement system is and you know holding on to secret objectives that eventually have to become public in time for other players to respond and all that, there's so many great ideas here. At the end of the day, this is area majority, area influence overload. It's so many individual little battlegrounds where we're just trying to eke by and, ah, you thought you had that and you were going to get your big bonus, especially now with Intrigue. I really invested to get a big bonus and, oh, Nope. At the last minute, I snuck in and you know pulled all those points away from you. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's not like th- it's not like this is a an aggressive game. I never burn your stuff to the ground. I never steal anything from you. Other than oh, you thought you were going to get a really big payday, but then on my turn, I use my last contractor, do a big quadruple turn. Plus, it's really a sextuple turn because I already had a thing there, um, and so I you know, I I just swooped in and then I trigger the scoring and I get the big points you thought you were going to get. But hey, that just means you got less points. But it's it's fine. But still, this is a game all about every step of the way. How can I outwit you? How can I beat you? How can I take all the work you've done and um, weaken it so that I can sneak in ahead of you? Or abandon things and um, you know try to prepare myself for something later that you might then pull off a really sweet move and you know kind of invalidate all the work and investment I've made. There's nothing wrong with it. It is all still just a transfer of points one way or the other. But Jen and I did find that wow, we spend so much of our time. I mean, a little bit of area majority is fine. You know, Aquasphere from Stefan Feld. A little bit is okay. This game is all wall to wall every step of the way. How can I beat you there? And there. Oh, are you beating me there? How can I beat you there? And there, and there, and there. I imagine at a at a higher player count, you know, I'm really just going to focus on a few things, but with only one other player, I'm just all in, always trying to stop you every step of the way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not really a good fit for me and Jen. So, um, I am so glad I've gotten to enjoy Kali Mala. It is freaking phenomenal. I can see why so many people have been raving about it for so long. And the new Intrigue expansion so elevates it to the next level. Like I said, takes a game that was kind of in the Hansa Teutonica area of depth and complexity and bumps it up into the Terra Mystica level of depth and complexity. And I mean, those are both really good places to be. And if these are the kind of games you love, folks, you owe it to yourself. If you missed Kali Mala, um, you know, first time it came around, because it really didn't ever get a lot of attention, it's going to get a lot of attention now. With a new gorgeous paint job by Ian O'Toole, one of the hottest artists working, new expansion content, it's fantastic, and I can see why everybody loves it. Folks, that is the preview for Kali Mala 2nd Edition plus the Intrigue Expansion. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.